Are you tired of Jupiter automatically closing your quotes and brackets? You're not alone. Many users find this feature more annoying than helpful. Today, we will explore how to disable auto quotes and auto brackets in Jupiter 5.0. I completely understand your frustration. It can be really annoying when software updates change settings that you rely on. You're not the only one who has to deal with this issue, and it's a common concern among Jupyter users. Let's dive into the specific question at hand. One user recently upgraded to Jupyter 5.0 and found that their previous methods for disabling auto-closing quote quotes and brackets no longer work. They want to know how to fix this issue. Sound familiar? Let's find a solution together. So what's going on with Jupyter 5.0? It seems that the previous configurations that worked in earlier versions are no longer effective. This can be confusing especially when you rely on those settings for a smoother coding experience. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how to regain control over your Jupyter environment. Plus, I have a bonus tip that you won't want to miss. To disable auto quotes and auto brackets in Jupyter 5.0, the user should first create a new JavaScript configuration file. This file will override the default settings. Next, the user needs to add specific JavaScript code to this file. This code will disable the auto-closing feature for brackets and quotes. After saving the changes to the custom.js file, the user should restart the Jupyter Notebook server. This step is crucial for the new settings to take effect. Finally, the user can test the changes by opening a new notebook. They should check if the auto-closing quotes and brackets are now disabled. Fun fact, did you know that Jupyter was originally developed as part of the IPython project? It's come a long way since then, but some quirks remain. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution to disable auto quotes and auto brackets in Jupyter 5.0 involves using the Advanced Settings menu. First, go to Settings and select Advanced Settings. Then, in the Notebook category under User Preferences, add a specific configuration to disable auto-closing brackets. The user also provided their Jupyter version details, which include Jupyter Core version 4.7.1 and Jupyter Notebook version 6.3.0, among others. Here's a pro tip. Always back up your custom configuration files. This way, if you upgrade Jupyter again, you can easily restore your preferred settings. And there you have it. You should now have control over the auto-closing quotes and brackets in Jupyter 5.0. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks. And remember, keep experimenting with your Jupyter setup.